What's up, gang? Uh, let me find my camera. Here, here, here. Up there. So, I think it's there. And otherwise, I'm looking at the wrong end, and I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, these are some pretty strange times we're going through. Not to cut light of it. Uh, I don't know I keep saying that, but... Uh, I'm also, you know, I'm lucky I'm, I'm able to stay working from home. And uh, a lot of my tools and stuff, though, are at work. So, I have... You know, my basics, I have a soldering iron, and I have a desoldering iron, and some solder, and some parts. So I got, I got the majority of what I need to, you know, get these monitors fixed and these games up and running. And it's funny that there's this many people that actually need their games up, but the bars and stuff, they're all closed down, and they have a chance to have somebody come in, and I can fix it. And it's pretty easy for me. I'm just walking in a dead, empty bar where nobody's there, and then grabbing a monitor and heading right back out so i still can't tell okay i think it's okay it's there it's driving me crazy i hate when i shoot this way and i'm looking at myself but anyway so i'm trying to work from home i don't have everything i need but i have a lot of stuff i've been trying to build this little work area here in the basement so that i can get more done i literally have more work to do than the arcade has hours for so let's make a long story short and get into too much a whole bunch of politics and crap uh i need more stuff than what i have and i have no budget um but this weird situation that we're in is like made this perfect storm for facebook marketplace there's tons of people at home with nothing to do it's been nice for a few days everybody's cleaning their garages their basements and marketplace is just flooded with tools and like organizers and shelves and and lots of stuff that would be useful unfortunately like no capacitors or flybacks or anything like that that would be great although sometimes i do find them um but i i did find some pretty damn good scores uh stuff that is really going to help me out here at, at the home shop and so stick around we'll go through it and i actually have way more deals than i could score before this video but Let's go ahead and see what I got and what I paid for it. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. And you know how long it's been? I've just said, wait, whack a ball. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked. Got the mallet in my grasp. Waiting for the moles. Ha, hiding in their holes. Score, we're keeping tally. I'll be playing till they close now. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster. You can ask my baby, it starts slow, then gets faster. I'm a record sayer. So this is one of the big things that I, I was interested in is I don't have a set of like woodworking tools for the house, you know, general tools. I picked up a, a cheap grill and a cheap sander just to work on the turbo, but going through and looking and, and seeing all the people that had cleaned their stuff out and, you know, they have two or three sets of these and, and of course on all the cord, uh, cordless tools that are out there, there's like no... People might have a charger, but there's no batteries, or the batteries won't take a charge, and people just upgrade and get new ones. Well, I don't have enough money to upgrade and get new ones, so I'm willing to buy somebody's old crap and then just buy some... What I'm going to do is just get the generic batteries for now. But this guy had a pretty decent set. It was complete. Um, didn't have the batteries, of course, which I wasn't expecting anyway. You can rebuild those batteries, and then the... Uh, the lithium batteries, you can actually jump start them and they'll work for a while. It's a temporary fix, but so I got there and the tool that I was most interested in that would have been here was the drill was missing. Um, that's kind of why I wanted this one. They had a pretty nice drill in there. So this affected my, uh, my bargaining. I, I really wasn't as interested in this because I may use this tool. I have plenty of flashlights. I will use this, but not very often. But I would have used the drill quite a bit. They're uh, 18 volt too, by the way. Um, so since he didn't have the drill, I 
you know, I told them, I was like, these sets are all over Marketplace. I'm like, they're anywhere from, you know, $20 to $40, but none of them have batteries. I think the DeWalt ones, like the most expensive they are, is like a two pack for 90 bucks or something. They're still not too bad. But anyway, he, uh, he said, well, you give me 20, give me 10 bucks for it. I said, yeah, I'll give you 10 bucks for it. I probably would have gave him 10 bucks for the case, but <laughs> so that was cool. He wanted it out of the way and he had, I think the upgrade, I know he had upgraded, but I think he had the 20 volt set. So I'll just find a drill, which like I said, there's probably a hundred drills for 10, 20 bucks, all DeWalt. Some of them even have working batteries. There's just so many drills on there that nobody's, nobody's really, nobody's really buying anything right now anyway. So I didn't have a whole lot of competition. Uh, I did on another the the next thing, and uh, that one was pretty tough. But I uh, I used my usual technique for marketplace and Craigslist, and so far it works a hundred percent of the time. I'll explain that to you. Let me put this away, and I'll pull out the next thing. So this was my next purchase. This was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Um, all of this stuff was listed for free. Free tools, come get it. I just so happened to uh, be at the gas station and was bored and flipped my phone on. I looked on Marketplace and saw it just a few minutes after it uh, had popped up. I wasn't the first one that uh, messaged this guy, though. Um, I, it took me a second to hear back from him. I saw that he saw the message. Uh, there, I know there were several people, and he eventually had told me that there was five to ten people after me so everybody was interested in free tools um but my method of going straight to it and and actually landing the deal and i do this with arcade games too is i didn't ask any questions i didn't ask him to hold it for me until friday i didn't tell him about my mother's maiden name and why it caused me to love the color orange i sent a message and i said i'll take it i can be there in 15 minutes and so when you get a bunch of questions, bunch of questions, bunch of questions, and this guy just goes, oh, I'll be right there. You let the guy come get it. And uh, so far, it's a couple times it hasn't worked for me, but people already had deals in place. But I'd say probably 90% of the time, as long as you're not, you know, trying to give them a lot less money or something like that, if you're going to, you're willing to pay the price. And I usually will not message somebody unless I'm willing to pay the price. I, I just won't bother. So, and instead of haggling, I'm like, even if this was $10 or $20, why haggle over a few bucks? Um, but anyway, I, I ended up getting it. Um, I don't know if any of these tools work, just like the other ones. Uh, n the batteries didn't work. They're the, the NICAD batteries. So you can actually, if you take the, you know, these screws off and pop this out of here, they're basically just like C battery cells in here. And they're in a series. And you can buy those C cells um, online. And it's not very expensive. I think it's like, you know, eight to, 8 to 12 bucks or something like that. And you can rebuild your own battery. So that's not too bad of an issue. But they are kind of outdated. They don't last as long. And like these here, they had no ass to them. I, I think uh, the replacements that I looked up were almost double what they could do and they had uh lithium ion battery replacements now for them but since i got it yesterday and amazon still is awesome one day delivery i got a battery and uh i went ahead and went with the uh the lithium battery and it's supposed to be beefier and last longer um so i want to go ahead and test these obviously i'm not going to test that but we can test the drill and the uh little vacuum and I thought that was cool. So I got, they had multiples of, of these little replacement batteries. You could buy the original Firestorm battery. I, I don't think they actually make the one that came with this, but there is, they, they do make one by Black & Decker. And it was like 45, 50 bucks. And you can get them as cheap as $17 that had zero ass to them and wouldn't last very long. And then it stepped up to those. Those were... I don't remember. This one was 3600 and I think those might have been like 2000 or 2600 or something. They weren't even 3. So this one was going to be a lot better. But let's uh let's go ahead and and hook it up and see if we have any life out of these. 
it could have been a waste for all of it. I was going to do a video where you, you can jumpstart these because it's, it's just so cheap. You can even buy Harbor Freight batteries and swap them out with the insides of, of this one. But this guy was only $21.99. So there's, I think the Harbor Freight one might be 15 bucks. So it's a lot of work for $5. I'll, I'll just order it, even though I know how to do it. But if you have a DeWalt battery that's a little bit more expensive, you might want to change that with some, uh, some uh, new cells. All right. The other thing I liked about it is you can easily and clearly see how much juice it's got. Oh. All right. So kind of stinks a little. I'm going to take them apart and clean them. Does work. Yeah, it stinks. It may not work for long. Let's check the vacuum. And I don't know that I'm going to go with this set. I think I'm going to go ahead with the 18 volt DeWalt set. But it was cool that these were free. Um, I, I I don't know if I'll use this. I mean. Not anytime soon, anyway. I'm sure in the future I would use it. Um, but this I will definitely use. I'll use this a lot. And I'll definitely use the drill. But I, I think once I uh, once I upgrade to a full set of something, then I'll go ahead and pass these on to the next guy who needs something. I definitely let the guy know how much I appreciated it because I don't have the money to go out and buy this stuff right now. And I was living paycheck to paycheck before. <laughs> Yeah, it's got good suction too. I mean, I call this a dust buster. I don't know what Firestorm model this is, but that is awesome. I'll definitely use that. The charger works. The new battery works. I'm sure this works too. This really didn't have any. It's got some scuffs on it, but it looks like it was just taken in and out of the the pack the uh, package. In and out of the uh, case a lot. But it doesn't really look like it's ever been used. But that's cool. It was a, a free set of tools there. And then the last thing was probably the most needed thing uh, that I got. And it's uh, it's going to be something that I use every time I come into the shop. But let me set up that and we'll get a good look at it. Ta-da! <laughs> I needed a good seat really bad. And this and uh I think these were 70 no they were like 70 80 bucks something like that at uh Lowe's. Yeah, I think it's the Lowe's brand and it's hydraulic. It's the only well there's there's several of this style that have a seat on them or a back, seat back. That's kind of hard to do without some actual weight on it. And uh the, the reviews were really bad on this uh, for the seat back because people, um, they needed to, to undo this and slide the seat backwards because they had too much ass. And I don't know, it's just, just right for me. I'm not a huge guy and I just need a little bit on my lumbar to keep my back from hurting because it, it takes me several hours to sit here and cap the chassis. And just being able to take a break just for a few seconds and lean back. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but right where it's at is, is perfect for me. So now I don't have to work on my little cart anymore that's over here. Um, I can actually... So I was sitting on the uh, futon back here behind me and then working on the cart, which is fine. I have electricity ran to it and all that. Um, but I'm also lower to the ground. And I'm stooping and... You know, it's just not a uh, not a comfortable spot either. So this one, let's see if I can move you back far enough where we can see where I end up sitting at. Now, it, this guy was probably pretty big. It's it's got a lot of wobble to it, but the, the screws are all loose. So this is probably a, way too high for me. Now that's actually all the way down. That's where I like it. So I, I can deal with that. 
No, it's going to be good. I got to get this bullshit off from underneath here. Because I can't slide my legs underneath that while I'm capping a monitor with that stupid monitor in my way. But yeah, I'm really happy to get this. Um, I got this for, he was asking 30 and my friend sent a message and said, she said, uh, my friend Robin, he probably see her. She helps me do uh, camera work sometimes. She said, uh, are you firm on the 30? And the guy happened to be seven houses away from her. That's why I sent her the message to see if she could grab it for me. And the guy was like, uh, 25 will do. So super stoked. Uh, he's the, uh, the guy I got this from. He's, uh, the one that I think he owns Phobius, the haunted house that's local to us or, or he runs it. One of the two. Uh, I have lots of friends that work there and lots of mutual friends with him, but that I was great. So stoked to get this because <clears throat> I have a lot of monitors that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fix and I can only sit there comfortably for about an hour and then my back starts to hurt and then I'll pull out another chair and sit down and get comfortable well, I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but it's really damn hard to get back up and sit back up here and, and finish my work after that. So this is going to help my productivity immensely. The The tools, um, that is mostly for doing um, cabinet work and stuff like that, which I normally don't do, but I can do, and I'm totally willing to do it. I just didn't have a spot. Luckily, this... Uh, Turbo Cabaret is very tiny, so I can, I'm working on that, and I can drag it outside and, and pretty much by myself without all the guts in it. So this has help, helped me immensely. I'm, I'm still looking for stuff. This entire little shop that's down here has been, um, everything in here, minus a few things, has been Harbor Freight, uh, Facebook Marketplace, uh, even Dollar Tree. I got a lot of stuff at Dollar Tree, like that rubber mallet up there. I got that at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And that that level that's over there, that level's pretty nice for a dollar. And the, the rubber mallet I needed for uh, tea molding, it works perfect. But hey, you know, I'm going to get stuff where I get it. It's a rubber mallet. Why, why pay $8 if I can pay a dollar? But you guys should check out Marketplace. I know uh, maybe not everybody has the extra money. Um, let me see if I can flip this around. No, I'm going to start it over here in one second. Yeah, like I was saying, I know not everybody has a ton of extra money and stuff right now, but it is good to support the people who are putting the stuff up for sale. They might need diapers or formula or something like that. And that's kind of like the only little economy that we're going to have is trade between each other. So... If you do have a few extra bucks and somebody's got something that you could use or need, um, think about going ahead and throwing it to them. And, you know, we've got to help each other get through this, whether it takes two weeks or we're in here for six months. But um, those were the cool deals that I got so far. Like I said, I got two or three other ones that uh, are in the works. I'm kind of, uh, one of them I'm not sure if I want to go on because I uh, changed the deal. But uh, the other two, I'm just waiting to see if somebody falls out of line. <laughs> I'm in line. I'm not going anywhere. But stay tuned for the next one. I got a monitor video coming for you guys. I have the uh, uh, pachinko video I keep threatening to do. But I have plenty of time now. And then uh, next, we still have the, the turbo restoration. And then the little well, multi cade down here to finish. Um, the, I did order a bunch of that shit from China. And so I was worried that it wasn't going to get here. And I hadn't heard anything out of the guy, but it was through eBay. It wasn't like Wish or something. So I, I sent him a message, and I was like, have you attempted to ship this at all yet? Because it's been almost three weeks. And he said, oh, um, I'm sorry, I'll, sh I'll ship that out tomorrow, sir. And I said, okay, well, were you going to ship that? Or did you only attempt to ship it now because I bitched about it? And, of course, he only sent it out because I bitched about it. And... It went out the next day, and it's I, it's in the United States already, but I don't know how long it'll take it to get through customs. But it's the board and the joysticks and, and all that good stuff, all the, all the fun guts. Not all the fun guts, but the good stuff. Anyway, stick, uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'm actually ending this. I'm going to 
probably edit this really fast and then I'm right back to filming. So you're probably going to see this jersey again unless I remember to change. I like to do one per video. All right. I'll see you again. See you next time. These two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we do here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. So but if I gotta get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> That comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.